Welcome to Shivakumar classes. Today the topic which I am explaining is Ratio Analysis. Ratio Analysis. This is the question which has been asked for 2020 Karnataka PUC class 12. <coughs> Next. From the following particulars calculate net asset turnover ratio, fixed asset turnover ratio, working capital turnover ratio. These three things are it is turnover ratios. Turnover ratios answer will end with the time. And the next one is the gross profit ratio, net profit ratio and operating ratio. These three things will end with the percentage. And already I have uh, one, one video has been posted uh, relating to 2016, 18, 19 three problems or four problems which has been already posted in another video let me give that link into the description box and in this video i am covering 2017 and 2020 problem one more problem 2019 is there that's the lengthy problem let, let me give it is into the another video now particulars and rupees fixed asset 16 lakh current assets 4 lakhs. Current liabilities 2 lakhs. Revenue from operations 20 lakhs. Cost of revenue from operation 8 lakhs. Net profit 4 lakhs. Operating expenses 1 lakh. Yes, this is the given information. With the given information, we have to calculate the remaining things. Now, the very first one is they are asking us to calculate the net asset turnover ratio it means what comparison of turnover turnover means sales that has to be compared with the net asset net asset means fixed asset fixed asset plus working capital that is the meaning working capital means Working capital is equals current asset minus current liabilities. So, turnover means sales. Sales we call it as the, in another way, sales is called as the revenue. Now, let us see in this problem. Revenue from operations rupees 20 lakhs. Now, my formula it is. Revenue from operations divided by net assets. Now, this revenue can be written either revenue or you can write with the net revenue. Net revenue means that sales minus sales return. That is the meaning. Now, as per this problem, let us see that sub formula. Fixed asset plus working capital. My fixed asset given in a problem is 16 lakhs. Plus working capital is not given directly. Let us calculate the working asset. Working capital is current asset minus current liabilities. The current asset given in a problem is 4 lakhs. Minus current liabilities given here it is 2 lakhs. 4 lakhs minus 2 lakhs is equals 2 lakhs. What is this 2 lakh? It is working capital is 2 lakhs. Therefore, 16 lakh plus 2 lakhs is equals 18 lakhs. 18 lakhs. Now, Applying the formula. Net revenue from operation it is 20 lakhs. 20 lakhs divided by net asset we got here it is 18 lakhs. Therefore, 20 lakhs divided by 18 lakhs is equals 1.1 times 1.1 times 
as I said already the turnover ratios will end with the times next coming to fixed asset turnover ratio that is turnover is compared with the fixed asset again the same formula we are going to apply into the numerator net revenue from operation net revenue from operation whole divided by fixed assets whole divided by fixed asset now revenue from operation we know that it is in previous case also we have written the same 20 lakhs divided by fixed assets the fixed assets given in a problem is 16 lakhs therefore 20 lakhs divided by 16 lakhs is equals 20 divided by 16 is equals 1.25 times over next coming to calculation of working capital turnover ratio working capital turnover ratio is working capital turnover ratio is once again net revenue from operation net revenue from operation is subdivided by working capital working capital net revenue from operation we know that it is amount is 20 lakhs and already we have calculated the working capital the working capital we calculated here it is 2 lakhs working capital we have calculated already 2 lakhs so 20 lakhs divided by 2 lakhs is equals 10 times that is the answer and next coming to gross profit ratio the formula for gross profit ratio is gross profit divided by revenue from operation into 100 so gross profit given in a problem it's not given directly gross profit is not given directly so what we have to do revenue from operation from that we have to minus the cost when i minus the cost from the revenue revenue means income or sales i will get the profit so 20 lakh minus 8 lakhs so gross profit is equals 20 lakhs minus cost cost of revenue 8 lakhs 20 lakhs minus 8 lakhs we get here it is the 12 lakhs this 12 lakh is called as the gross profit gross profit therefore my gross profit is 12 lakhs divided by my revenue is 20 lakhs into 100 so 12 lakh 12 lakhs divided by 20 lakhs into 100 is equals 60 percent 60 percent and the next one is they are asking us to calculate the net profit ratio net profit ratio the formula for the net profit ratio is net profit divided by 
net revenue from operation net revenue from operation into 100 now let us see what is our net profit the net profit given in a problem is 4 lakhs 4 lakhs therefore the answer is 4 lakhs divided by 20 lakhs of the revenue into 100 then what we get here it is 4 lakhs divided by 20 lakhs into 100 is equals 20 percent 20 percent is the answer and coming to last one they are asking us to calculate it is the operating ratio operating ratio the formula for operating ratio is that cost of revenue plus operating expenses operating expenses whole divided by revenue revenue from operation and it has to be multiplied by 100 now let us see in the problem what is the cost of revenue already we got that cost of the revenue the cost of revenue is 8 lakhs it is given in a question now we can see that the cost of revenue from operation it is 8 lakhs 8 lakhs cost of revenue is 8 lakhs and the operating expenses given here it is 1 lakh rupees operating expenses is 1 lakh so 8 lakh plus 1 lakh 8 lakh plus 1 lakh divided by revenue from operation is 2 lakh sorry 20 lakhs therefore therefore 8 lakh plus 1 lakh you get it is the 9 lakhs 9 lakhs divided by 20 lakhs into 100 into 100 so the answer is 9 lakhs divided by 20 lakhs into 100 is equals 45 percent 45 percent yes that's it about this problem Thank you. on the chapter ratio analysis ratio analysis it's a very simple problem calculate inventory turnover ratio what is this inventory inventory is stock what is this turnover turnover means ratio so therefore sorry turnover means sales so therefore we are comparing the inventory the stock is with the sales the simple problem it is net sales 4 lakh rupees gross profit 1 lakh rupees opening inventory 60,000 rupees closing inventory 90,000 rupees again once again inventory means stock what is the formula for calculation of inventory turnover ratio inventory turnover ratio is equals cost of revenue from operation revenue from operation what is this revenue revenue means sales that's it so that sales only here it is given net sales sales is revenue okay and next coming to gross profit compare these two things from the sales when you minus profit you get cost that is the meaning and next one is the divided by average inventory average inventories 
So inventory is mean stock we have to take the average, average of opening and closing inventories. So therefore, you have to find the two sub formulas, one sub formula on cost of revenue and another one is the average inventories. What is the formula of cost of revenue? Cost of revenue is equals net sales minus gross profit. The sales can be called as in another manner revenue. So the sales given in a problem is 4 lakhs and gross profit given here it is 1 lakh. Therefore, 4 lakh minus 1 lakh is equals 3 lakhs. So you got cost is 3 lakhs. And next coming to average inventory. Average inventory is equals opening inventory plus closing inventory. Closing inventory whole divided by 2. So what is the opening and closing inventories given? You see that 60,000 and 90,000. Therefore, 60,000 plus 90,000 whole divided by 2. That is 1,50,000 divided by 2. You get 75,000. So now, as per this formula, cost of revenue is 3 lakhs. And Average inventories is 75,000. Therefore, our answer is 4 times. Normally, in terms of turnover ratios, will be written in terms of times. So, that's it the answer for this problem. Gross profit ratio is equals gross profit divided by net sales into 100. The gross profit is rupees 1 lakh and the net sales is 4 lakhs into 100. Therefore, the gross profit ratio is 25%. Thank you.